Hi, everybody. Welcome to another session of Envy Life at Home. I'm talking with our worship director, Jade, and we're going to unpack what it means to volunteer within worship ministries and media and tech here at Napa Valley Life Church. So, Jade, let's start with an easy one. When we get back to doing service, uh, what is your kind of your vision, your hope for for that? Um, well, obviously things are going to be a little different, I would say, just because of the new guidelines we have to li live by. Uh, so I think there's going to be there's going to have to be more services, and we've already been kind of talking and walking through what that's going to look like. My vision is that we'll use this for for good, and hopefully this will be some, a place where we can grow as a as a team and as a church. That's that's great. I love that because we'll need as many opportunities just to grow and and to do that. And we and I like how you said too. We have to look at it differently mm -hmm. because with the standards, it's not going to be the same. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, what do you think is one of the biggest misunderstandings about <laughs> serving with worship or tech? And no, I can't sing. <laughs> you sure? Uh, um, oh, well, I think uh, thinking I have to be a pro. Okay. Um, I think a lot of people are like, oh, I, I, I can kind of play, but um, I mean, obviously you have to play, right? You have to know what you're doing <laughs> to some extent, but uh, you know, it's the, the worship team is a, is a learning experience. And okay. the, I mean, I've had people on my team that were 13 and, okay. and they kind of grew up on the team and they got just, it was, it's been an awesome experience. So I think um, just knowing that you're coming here not only to serve, but also to learn. My first singing experience was on, on the worship team, singing by myself. Wow. Like I did like, you know, backup stuff before, but uh, I gained the confidence to, to, to sing here in this specific church. So that's kind of fun. Very cool. That's cool. Yeah. Very neat. What about the, the media tech side of it? What about the behind the scenes part of it? Yeah, again, again, learn, learning experience. My sound guy right now didn't know anything about sound until until this church and it's it's very hands-on i'm a hands-on person so you come you come and you learn and it's great cool so that's good so there's a lot of both in front and behind opportunities yes. that people can do so yes. i mean what you need to hear is that worship like many other ministries within the church that are searching for volunteers have multiple different avenues and aspects of serving it's not just well i have to like, like you said, I love it. I have to be a pro on the guitar. I have to you know, be a seasoned vocalist or whatever it is. No, let's mm -hmm. jump in and find a fit for you within mm -hmm. that. Exactly. So with that being said, what would you say are some of your greatest needs right now? Well, we always need instrumentalists. I think that's uh, being able to give our, our main team a break. Um, so if you play guitar, piano, drums, bass, anything. Um, and But then also people that are ready to learn things like ready to learn sound ready to be able to to film the service um to do lighting um if, if that's something you're even just interested in then come talk to me do you have a, a minimum age that you kind of hope for or is there some expectation there um like i said i had a 13 year old on the team so i mean any age really <laughs> good and, and I think that's key to know, too, because a lot of times people will think I have to be, you know, certain age or there's certain expectations. And no, and I think the, the idea behind is we just want people with a heart to serve. Mm -hmm. And I love how you said um, a heart to learn. Mm -hmm. They just be open to learn. Yeah. And the fact is, I mean, from what I've seen in my time here, and, and, and again, we truly appreciate what you do here. Mm -hmm. And my wife loves the worship at, at our church. Oh. So, but it, it's a process where... Um, people have to, to understand it, that you're not going to be perfect overnight. It's not going to be something where somebody's going to stand up on stage or no media or no tech right off the bat. But mm -hmm. the more people you have, the deeper you can go with your teams and the broader you can have um, availability and different things like that. And I think that's a big part of it as well, too. Well, again, thank you so much for your time, and I appreciate it. And again, guys, in the next few uh, sessions, we're going to follow up and we're going to let you know exactly how to get in contact with Jade. Um, if you have any questions, you guys, just ask. I think one of the, the greatest things to do is whatever your, your hang-up or your concern or your worry might be, ask. Mm -hmm. and, and you'll talk them through it and kind of figure out. And, again, it's finding the right fit for you within the team, not necessarily putting you into a fit that you might not be mm -hmm. ready yeah, for. Yeah, exactly. So. And no question is a dumb question. I love awesome. saying that. Well, again, thank you for your time. Of course. And yeah. we'll talk to you guys soon.